Hey everybody, Card Bandit here. What I'm going to be going over today is a review of the Ignite playing cards. So let's get into it. With the uh, box, you have a really nice box right here. Um, on the front, you've got a nice flame design that's indicative of the Ace of Spades, which you'll see later. And that flame design continues on to both of the sides. You'll notice a slightly dark disc coloration there, which gives it that a charred feeling. Um, the front also has Ignite in the center, and then fine playing cards on the bottom there. The bottom of the pack has information about Illusionist. Um, like I said, the sides are left blank. On the top it says Ignite, and then the back is really neat because they did a nice charcoal feel on the bottom corners of the car of the uh, back of the box just to give it that feel like it's been on fire. I mean, you've got that nice flame pattern all the way through. On the flap, you've got some information about Bicycle on the USPCC. You've got two flaps that continue the charcoal red design all the way through. And then on the inside, it's plain white. So that is your tuck case. Let's get into the cards themselves. This is an entirely customized deck of cards. What you get with the deck is you get two ad cards. One says be different, stand out, and the other one is just an ad card for some of their decks. Um, the cards themselves, like I said, are completely customized. So you've got a lot of neat aspects to these cards. The jokers themselves are completely custom, some of the most unique jokers I've seen. Uh, you've got two women, one with red hair, one with black hair, and they've got joker written on the sides. The uh, the aces, I believe, are all custom. Uh, they've got a flaming pip in the center of each of the aces. The pips on all the cards here and here are smaller than your average bikes, which is neat. Um, and you've got all the aces. The ace of clubs initially didn't have the flame design, but I believe they've changed that in the newer runs, which is why this one has one. And then you get to the ace of spades, which is very, very nice. Got a nice flame design on this ace of spades that continues a the theme of the deck. Just really intricate, but you've noticed that they don't overdo the detail. It looks very simple, but at the same time very intricate at the same time. You've also got a lot of white on the cards, so it shows that they didn't um, want to overdo the design, which is nice. Um, you've got the court cards. Now the court cards are all unique. Um, each of them looks similar to what I'm going to show you here. Um, they've got a lot of the orange coloration all the way through. Each of them will have an orange uh, sort of square box and they'll also have this deteriorated edges to make it seem like the cards have been on fire. And just each of these are custom with a neat little with a neat design on the uh, the cards as well as keeping that orange vibrant color all the way through. So you'll notice that the court cards don't have a flaming pip like the aces. However, you'll notice that the uh, all the spot cards do in fact have a flaming pip. So each of the spot cards has a flaming pip and these uh, pips aren't necessarily in the same place. So you'll notice the seven of spades has a flaming pip there but the seven of clubs has one in the center. So the pip, the flaming pip actually does not necessarily stay in the same place. You'll notice that here the ten of hearts has one up there whereas the uh, ten of clubs has one on this side right here. So you'll see that they've got a different location for the flaming pips on some of those cards. But overall just a really nice aspect to the cards that they added in that custom pip. So the cards themselves are really neat. Look at the back, that back design. Just very vibrant orange and yellow all the way through with darker corners to make it that give it that charcoal feel. Um, and all in all, really beautiful back design on the cards. Mirrored back so you can flip it around and it's going to be the same. And I believe they actually mirrored it both ways. So they mirrored it this way and this way. 
The feel of the cards is really nice. It's got a, a thicker stock than some of the uh, Artifice decks. Um, so I think it's like a regular standard bicycle stock uh, that they use for these cards. Really nice handling. I believe like most Illusionist decks they have a performance or magic coating on the cards. Um, which is nice and it looks really good in fans. Um, so uh, like this deck brilliant in fans just because it's borderless. Um, being borderless though if, you've, if you're doing magic tricks where the cards are face um, face up it's really easy to see where those cards are especially in this deck where it has the darker side. So all in all it does handle really nicely um, just because of that thicker stock it works well in cuts as well. So let's get into how durable the deck is. This is a deck I've been using another Ignite deck that I've used for quite a while. Still fans nicely. Um, the corners and some of the cards did get bent a little bit, but the, the stock is really thick, so it actually uh, makes up for that. It doesn't uh, feel like it's been uh, too, too badly damaged, even though I've been giving this a lot of use. And I'm still impressed that it fans as nicely as it does, probably due to that performance coating. Um, all in all, this deck has held up really well. It has a softer feel. The only thing I'd say is that you will you will have some ink bleed through along the edges there. Not sure if you can catch that, but there's a slight discoloration on the edges where the inks bled through. And I feel like that gives the deck a really soft feel after you've used, after you've used these cards for a while. Alright guys, and that's pretty much the overview of the Ignite deck. If you have any more questions about the deck, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll catch you later.